Find out how to get your bird to eat fruits or veggies and 18 tips for it. Teaching birds to eat veggies and fruits can be tedious but a lot of fun as well. Projects like this tend to stretch human creativity. You have a little feathered creature that you love the most in the world and you want to provide it with the best possible care. You know that they need to eat a variety of foods, which includes as many varied vegetables and fruits as possible. But your little feather pet persistently refuses anything fresh, healthy and rich in vitamins. So much so that you're already clutching your head in despair because you don't know what else to try. In nature, parrots feed even on mostly fresh food, fruit trees, buds and various nuts. Smaller parrots, like those living in Australia or Africa, in the steppes, grasslands and nature, they feed mainly on seeds and grasses. Parrots living in the Amazon region have a higher proportion of animal protein in their diet, so the differences should be taken into account here as well. The most important assumption is that you have patience and that you are persistent, because sometimes getting used to a healthy diet takes weeks, months and even years. Therefore, do not give up, keep offering and be more persistent than your bird. Some prefer finely chopped, others large pieces. Still others prefer to be next to the feeder, and still others prefer to be as far away from the feeder as possible, some like to mix it with seeds. So, if you have a new feather pet that you don't know yet, patiently try all the ways of serving until you find out what suits your pet best. Sometimes birds initially avoid brightly colored vegetables or fruits, so in that case go for example with leafy greens, dandelion leaves, chard, lettuce, carrot leaves, all this can attract them to try. Sometimes they are attracted if you offer them a bunch of freshly washed leafy vegetables that you just wash well but didn't dry. Do not be afraid if the birds have watery poop, even a few hours after consuming vegetables and fruits. This is a completely normal phenomenon, due to the fact that they ingested more fluids than usual, and the situation usually calms down a few hours after a meal. Also, some vegetables or fruits can strongly stain feces. For example, if they eat a lot of carrots, the feces can turn orange, while beetroot, blueberries, cherries and similar red vegetables and fruits can give the feces a radish, which is also completely normal and soon normalizes. First of all, if you are a new bird donor, read and learn about good and forbidden food for your bird. You need to know what kind of bird you have, what food your bird is allowed to eat and in what quantities. Remember that there is also poisonous food and seeds for birds. Be prepared for a lot of food waste with birds. They often don't eat if things cleanly or completely. But isn't it a likely nibbled half a leaf of lettuce or a paper worth it for your bird's health and entertainment? Clean up uneaten food before it goes too limp or worse yet moldy. 
especially during the summer. With high temperatures, it is important to take care of hygiene and timely remove all debris. Be aware, some techniques work best with a friendly hand team bird who thinks you are a good friend. Place the chopped vegetables or fruits where the bird can nibble them in the seed bowl. Sprouted seeds are good for it, but you can work for weeks on the standard way of adding vegetables to a bird food container, but birds sometimes don't want to eat it. Try other methods, they are more fun and probably more productive. Make the vegetables look interesting. Maybe use a knife to make a thick piece thin enough for a small beak, giving interesting projections and things that can tempt a birdie to nibble on it and generally treat it like a toy. With the game, maybe something will end up in the bird's stomach. Feed her a variety of foods like a boiled egg. Eggs should be cooked for more than 15 minutes. Encouraging your bird to adventure with other foods will also encourage her to adventure with green, red and orange fruits and vegetables. Stir leafy vegetables like lettuce into cage grates or put a little on the cage. If your bird likes to chew paper then you could replace it with a delicious vegetable. You can also try another dark leafy greens. Be careful with lettuce, large amounts can harm your bird. Eat fruits and veggies in front of the bird. Show it how tasty the stuff is, even if it isn't. Keep doing this until the bird looks curious, then try the finger food technique. The finger food technique is that offer bits of veggies in your fingers, or Or try it out of your mouth, but not literally. Put one end of the food in your mouth and the other end of the bird's beak, thus proving to your bird that it is not poisonous. If the bird decides to try it, give the bird a clean piece because human saliva contains some bacteria that are not suitable for bird health, so be careful. While most of these techniques work best with tame birds, tenting with toys techniques works good with untamed bird. You can tie a bundle of greens tightly and hang them in a cage. After a few days of fear and avoidance, the parrot should start chewing and playing with the bundle. You can also put larger pieces of fruits or vegetables in your pet's favorite toy. That way you will get a toy to think about and plus your bird will get some vitamin in the body. If you don't succeed right away, don't give up, persistence pays off. I suggest you watch more of my videos on the channel. You may be interested in a guide for Indian ringless parrots or budgies. You may want to learn something about parrot nutrition. You can also check out some bird projects as well as some of our stories or tips for garden.